If you're looking for a way to wash your clothes while on the road and you want to avoid a laundromat, you're going to want to see this great option that we just found. We found a great miniature washing machine that fits in our 19 foot trailer. We have an Intex Soul Horizon and this actually worked really well. It stores underneath the kitchen sink and we can use it in our wet bath. Now we did use a power cord to do a power extension so that it would fit in the bath. You could use this outside as well and hook it up to your power supply outside. Um, that would work too. This is a surprisingly really lightweight washing machine. I could easily pick it up. We both obviously could easily pick it up. It holds a surprising amount of laundry too. Um, I think you're gonna be really surprised with how this works. Okay, so we have tried seeing how much will fit in there. I think we got two pairs of socks, two pairs of men's shorts. Um, we got some undergarments and about five shirts, five t-shirts. And that fits almost all to the top. And now we're going to be adding water. Uh, you do get a cord that you can attach to here and then attach to a faucet to put water in. But we're going to choose to do it with a shower head. So while we use our overhead shower head, this technically is how they say to fill it using this pipe. And to do that, you would put this end on the water inlet. It's kind of a tight fit. <laughs> and then you're gonna connect this to your faucet. I'm not sure how that works, but that's what they say to do. So you could do, you don't necessarily have to do this in a tub. We used a really tiny amount of laundry detergent. We actually used Branch Basics, which is a laundry detergent that I like to use, um, but it just takes a tiny little amount. There is really no directions about how much to use, so you're just gonna have to guess, uh, but don't overuse too much or else you're gonna have soapy suds everywhere. to where it's just covering the clothes. Personally, with our load, we can't fill it anymore because if you'll notice over here, this is the drain tube. The water is coming up to the top of that. So if we filled it anymore, it's going to self drain. So, but this is good. It's everything is covered and now we're going to turn it on. So when you turn it on, it's just a simple knob. You choose how many minutes that you want it to wash. We are going to choose 15. So, we've got it to set to 15 and you can hear it. It's going to be cycling in. <laughs> kind of spins and then stops and spins and they'll be doing that for 15 minutes. Okay, again, we are using this in a wet bath, so it was a lot easier. If you had um, a shower in your RV, you could definitely just put it in the shower. It doesn't have to be in a shower or a wet bath, but as you can see, you are, are gonna need to drain it. And this tube just comes down and you kind of drain it wherever it is. So if whether or not that's outdoors, if you're using a biodegradable soap or indoors, just keep that in mind. Okay, so after you've drained the laundry machine, put the pipe back up there. So easy to do with the hook. And then you're gonna fill it up again and run it again. And that is going to be your rinse cycle. There are other options of this exact brand of washing machine where there is a spin cycle included and you don't have to hand wring out your clothes. We could not get that option because we needed something very small for our Intexel Horizon 19 foot and that would store easily. If you have more room, I'm gonna leave some options in the description and those would be even less labor intensive for you to use. Okay, so after using the portable washing machine in our own RV, we do highly recommend it. It's a great way to avoid uh, public laundromats and needing to stop at campgrounds where they do have laundromat options for you to use while you're at the campground. Now that being said, there are some challenges with using it. Obviously you need to have electricity. Uh, 
So if you are boondocking, you would need to be running it off of a generator. You would also need to have a plentiful water supply, which if you're boondocking, you might not have that much water. I believe the capacity is about seven and a half gallons. So you need to do a wash cycle and then you need to do a rinse cycle. So that is an awful lot of water. Um, you also need to keep in mind that that is going into your gray tank. So if you need to be able to dump the gray tank, if you're already at capacity, keep those things in mind before using the laundry machine. Now it's not as expensive as you would think. We paid around $80. I'll leave a link in the description below and you can check and see what the price is right now. But if you compare that to the cost of like a load of laundry in a laundromat that might be two or three dollars, then you know you can see over the course of time that it is going to pay off. Um, another challenge is that it is a little bit big. If you're in a smaller rig, you might not have the storage ability, but if you are in a larger rig, you probably do have plenty of room to be putting this. We put it in the box for uh, travel because it had the styrofoam and just to protect it. But if you are again in like a class A or a fifth wheel or a larger rig, you could probably just put it into a closet and it would be fine. Um, so overall, we do highly recommend it. Just keep in mind, you do have to hand wring out all the clothes. There are uh, items out there that will kind of wring out clothes for you. If you have electricity, that's just another thing to buy. But if you have room, it might make it even easier. I'm going to put links in the description for a few of those that I suggest as well. So if you have any questions about this washing machine, go ahead and leave us a comment. And if you use a portable washing machine while on the road, we'd love to hear from you and see what your thoughts are.